Hello and welcome to tutorial 93 in this series of tutorials and programs that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. And um, back in tutorial uh, number 40, I created a program that instead of just drawing a Bollinger Band like you would normally see it, I created the same effect but moving between two fixed lines. So in this particular case, if you go back to tutorial 40 at markplex.com, that's M A R K P L ex.com where you'll find a lot of other programs and tutorials you can look at uh, tutor tutorial 40 and you might wish to just look at the the video before watching this one and uh, you can see here that what uh, in a normal situation you would have the Bollinger Bands um, jiggling around the price action and sometimes the price uh, touching or going through and uh, the price just doing what it normally does and in this particular case, what we've got is the price moving, but the lines being fixed. So it's done by basically calculating where the price is in relation to the two bands and then just fixing those bands. So what I thought I'd do in this tutorial, tutorial 90, is create a new indicator that includes both the uh, equivalent of the Bollinger Bands, but also Keltner Bands. So what I've done is created a new program and just to save some time, I've already created the variables and the inputs, I've set those up. Now the calculations are the same for this program as they would be in the actual Keltner channel indicator. So if you go there, you can see the, uh, the calculations here, calculating the average shift upper band and lower band. Now what I've done is I'm using different variable names because some of the variable names would be the same between that and the Bollinger Band calculation. What I've also done is use the Bollinger Band calculation and uh, in each case we're calculating the the K upper band that stands for Keltner upper band, K, the Keltner lower band, K lower band and also the B upper band and the B lower band and as I say those calculations are basically identical apart from the variable names are somewhat different between the standard programs that you get with TradeStation and this program. Okay, so what we need to do now is calculate what I've called the ratios. Okay, so firstly we're going to calculate the ratio for the Keltner band and I've called it fixed Kel price. And that is equal to the Keltner price minus the K lower band divided by the difference between the two bands, so K upper band minus K lower band. multiplied by 100 and then we're going to from all of that we're going to subtract 50 just so that that uh, doesn't look so confusing what I'm going to do is just put an additional bracket around like this so that we can see that we're we're not taking 50 from the 100 before the multiplication so that is the fixed Keltner band calculation and what we're going to do now is similar calculation for the, the Bollinger Band. And this is very similar, in fact, identical to what we did in tutorial 40, which, as I say, you might like to refer to. So what I'm going to do is just copy that and use some new, let's modify the names of the variables. Okay, that looks good. So what we need to now do is do our plots. And we're going to create the, the fixed lines first. So I'm going to say plot 1. And that is going to be 
a value of 50, which is just fixed. I'm going to call it the upper band. And uh, I'm not going to set the colors within the program because I think it's uh, probably easier for you just to do that. Set the, uh, the colors using the format for this particular indicator. So we're going to set the lower band. minus 50 and we also want to set a midline which we're just going to set of course at zero and now we want to plot the fixed Bollinger line so we're going to say plot 4 and uh, we know that was calculated as the fixed bulb price. Just going to copy that. Just going to call it F Bollinger, the fixed Bollinger. And we're going to do similarly for the Kelton channel. Except that is fixed. K price and we're going to call that F Keltner like so and then finally what I'm going to do is plot a difference between the two values so we're going to say plot 7 and we're going to take we're going to subtract we're going to say fixed Kel price minus fixed ball price like so just going to call that diff okay let's verify and see if we've made any mistakes looks okay so let's go to the chart now, i've already got this applied to a uh, value so let's just go in and do some formatting so upper band we need that to be a line and for this particular chart well let's let's first of all go through make sure these are all correct they're lines the f bollinger keltner need to be lines the difference we want to be a histogram now what we might want to do in this particular case is just increase the weight a little bit because uh, it's slightly difficult to see And then we can go to the colors and uh, probably for the upper line, lower lines, maybe a light gray, be appropriate. And then for the Bollinger, Cyan's fine. For the Keltner, red is probably fine also. And then we'll just stay with the yellow for the, the difference. Okay, so you can start to see the indicator taking shape on a chart.